everybody. Welcome to St. Louis. He's Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. And here on this St. Patrick's Day, I say to my broadcast partner, top of the morning to you. How's that for an Irish accent? Is that what that was? That's an attempt. Yeah, happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I think everybody enjoys the day. Everybody enjoys the energy around St. Patty's Day, and we got a game on top of it. Opening face-off is set to go. Referee Gilles Levesque is ready to drop the puck. The Blues take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Great read with the stick. Stones him in front. Grabs the puck in the corner. Quick feed to Perron. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Picked up along the wall by O'Reilly. Inside his own end, moves the puck. Takes it into the slot. Oh, he got all of that with the blocker. What a stop by Chari. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. Picked off in the offensive end. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play. If you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck. Lots of time left in this period. Still scoreless in this one. St. Louis has it in their own end. Pareko's moving the puck through his own zone. O'Reilly's carrying it ahead. Pittsburgh's got control of it now from their own end. Quick pass to Zucker. Handles the puck. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Bennington. St. Louis has really given the fans something to cheer about in the first half of the year. Better than average record. They're pleased with it, and now there's lots of excitement potentially on the horizon. Pittsburgh's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Turned aside with the glove by Bennington. Shen's taking it from his own end. St. Louis plays it along the boards. In the offensive zone with the puck. You know he's thinking about his next milestone that's sitting one goal away. Moves it to Rodriguez. Oh, what a blocker stop on that. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Matheson. Made the stop on the play. Great stop by the goaltender again. Back-to-back -back saves. Moves the puck along the half wall. Nice pass. Oh, that's a big time save. I think he got it with a toe. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. And it takes a shot and makes the save. And he slides it quickly to Malkin. And sends it just out of reach. The Penguins are in transition. A chance! There's a whistle as the official's calling for a penalty here. The Blues have been handed two for interference. A little too aggressive with a player that doesn't have the puck. He gets whistled for interference. Crosby's favorite move is switching to the backhand and burying it. His beauty backhand zone ability is surprisingly accurate. O'Reilly's quick draw zone ability means he has the edge in the faceoff circle and can win possession for his side. Look out for one of these players to be a big factor in tonight's game. James and Ray, back to you. Nice job to escape the zone. The Penguins will play the puck from behind the net. Takes the feed. Mulkin's gonna play it against the half wall. Rips it and rips it! Too much congestion blocks the shot. The Penguins gain control of the puck. And now he moves it to Crosby. Driving right to the front! Bennington's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Gensel's got a great shot, guys, but we know the key to getting it off so accurately is when he's got the puck settled and flat on the ice. That's when he can really use that snipe zone ability to really pick his spots. Turns it aside with a glove. Bennington's gonna smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Crosby's backhand shot is one of his greatest assets. He's got incredible control and accuracy compared to most players with that type of shot, guys, and that's what his beauty backhand zone ability is all about. 
The Blues get a hold of the puck in their own end. And they get that puck down the ice. The Penguins have it behind the cage. Tries to feed it across. Pittsburgh's got him along the wall. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. The Penguins take possession in the defensive end. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Oh, and he whiffs on it. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Latang. Icing is the call here, and those winded bodies are gonna be out there for an extended period here now. Yeah, they can't get a change in, and so you go back, you kind of meander your way back as long as you can to kill time and get a little breath. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. The Penguins win the draw. That win will help them get organized defensively. And now he moves it quickly to Malkin. Pittsburgh's got the puck in the corner. The Blues will play it in their own end. St. Louis moves it ahead. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Takes it to the front. Oh, what a beautiful glove save. We'll get another look at that hit. This becomes a dead end in a hurry. Watch how he lays the shoulder right there. That's a big hit. Shen's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Glove save. Here's the clearing attempt. And they get it out. Scandell is up and ready to join the play. Down the right side and into the zone. The Penguins' man advantage is over. And he makes the save on that play. I liked everything about that power play, James, except the fact that they couldn't put it in the net. Everything about it looked really good. Moves it around along the half wall. Angles it over to Raquel. And that's taken away. And he can't find his man. Slides the puck over. Too many bodies in the way. Manages to hang on. Denies him! Finnington's right on top of that chance. Great A spot, great A save. The Blues moving ahead. The Penguins have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Tarasenko's hauled down, penalty on the way. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Fadoon's called for tripping, he's off to the box. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's sticking around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. O'Reilly's aware he's got more ice to work with on this power play here. This could be a great time for him to try using his zone ability and maybe even help the team put one past the goalie. Puck scooped up by Matheson. Trying to gain a step. Stones him on the breakaway. St. Louis gains a hold of possession. Directed over to O'Reilly. Trying to get out of the defensive end. And they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Now he takes it over the line. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. And they send it down the ice. Pareko's picking up momentum through center. And the puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to regroup. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck now. Oh, and it's another save on the play. Pennington's going to opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. Sometimes you pick up a little extra in the replay here. And as you look at this, the goalie is so sharp to make this save. That's an excellent shot that is taken, and the goalie turns it away. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. He was totally locked in on that play. Taken by McGinn. What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. The draw in the third period. Grab your tickets for a chance at the grand prize. Bennington's not getting much help from his teammates. He has been snowed under here in the early portion of the game. He's been excellent, though. Shen's ready for the draw on this man advantage. 
Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Musa quickly over to Crew. Looking to make something happen along the boards. What a blocker stop at point blank range by Chari. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. That's a great scoring chance turned aside. The blocker save denies the shot. Lafferty's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Jari's gonna give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Latang's trying to change a few things up. This pointless streak is starting to nag at him. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Here's a chance! Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Steps across the blue line. And that's not the side with the stick by Matheson. Trying to exit the defensive zone. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Oh, denies them with the paddle save! Well, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. They clear the zone. And he regains control of the puck. And that one's blocked! Final minute approaching here in this opening frame. And the linesman calls icing on the play. Kairou's trying to brace himself. He knows the hit's coming. But man, does he get level. Late goings of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. St. Louis will go to work here in the offensive end. After the icing, now you've got the puck again. You can wear them down quickly. Pittsburgh's in now. Here's a short pass to Raquel. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Whoa, that's a big hit. Delivered perfectly, timed just about as well as you can. Centers are set, face off, ready to resume play. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Can't get it to go. There's the horn bringing period number one to an end, and still no score in this one. Two more periods still to come. We'll be right back with much more action here on EA Sports. Along with Ray Ferraro between the benches, I'm James Sabolski. Period number two is about to get underway. Still no score in this one. We'll see if period number two finds ourselves a goal. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? St. Louis can't play much worse of a first period and still be tied. They turned the puck over way too much. They made everything so hard for themselves. Love save made by Jari. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. And they won't connect on that one. Slides it over with pace to Perron. Takes the puck at the point. And that's picked off in the defensive end. Here we go, on man rush. Quick feed to Crosby. Oh, just wide of the net. It doesn't matter how close it is. If it's not on the net, it can't go in. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. And not much on that one. Scores! They came, they saw, they took advantage of the rebound and scored. This makes the coaches look smart every time. They depend on him for offense, and he delivers James time and time again. The Penguins' hard work finally pays off with a one-goal lead in the second. 
That was a lot of effort just to get to the lead. Now you want to stay aggressive so you don't give it back. Quick pass to Malkin. Shen stick handling in his own zone. Gets it back. And the intensity starting to ramp up here after that hit. Big time stop. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Up to the challenge as he gets his pad on it. Aaron pass and they can't connect. Through center along the wing. The Penguins take over on possession. Scrum ensues along the boards. Taken along the wall by Marino. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck. Stays with it. Receives the pass. And the puck goes out of play. We'll get a face off after that save. If you're looking for a great seat to our upcoming game, tickets are Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Pittsburgh's up one zip. The Penguins win the draw. Comes up with the block. Absolutely fearless. Stops him with a glove. Bennington's been a leader tonight. You don't need a speech. You need to play well. He's done that tonight, and he's kept his team right in it. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. Pittsburgh's won the face-off. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Passes ahead from the right side. The Penguins have it now. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Here's a shot. Oh, close save by Bennington. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. kairu has got to know right before he takes this hit that he's going to get run over. The Blues win the draw. Scooped up along the wall by Kairou. Gains the zone. Pittsburgh's got the puck in their own end. Moves it to McGinn. The Penguins played along the wing. And that's blocked away. The Blues gain possession. And that's off a stick. Picked up along the boards by Falk. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. And now he angles it across to McGinn. And they'll go the other way with it. Great play by Pareko. Fails to find the open man. Slides the puck ahead to Raquel. Off his stick, turns him away. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Crosby's become a 200-foot player. Coaches love to talk about guys that are effective at both ends of the ice. If you are, you'll be on this list of plus-minus leaders. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. Pittsburgh's ahead, 1-0. Moves it quickly over to Pareko. Moves the puck. And there's the save. Jari's able to handle that shot with no problem, and he gets it into the corner for safety. Grabbed along the board by Crew. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Here he is in close. Stopped by the goaltender. They go on the attack through center. And there's a great save by Bennington. Back at the point, they set it up. Oh, they do it again. Relentless pressure. Scores. That's two unanswered now. Now uh, they stayed right on it. Once they got that first one, they just pushed the pace of this. Now they get another. You've got to get rid of that puck in a hurry from that spot on the ice. You're in the high slot. You're open. But you know everybody's converging on you. Pittsburgh's now jumped to a 2-0 lead as they make their way back to center. They're happy about hanging a donut on the other team, but the fact is, this second goal gives them lots of breathing room. Puck picked up by Shen. The Blues looking against the half wall. The Penguins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Great stretch pass as he connects. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. 
He's going to go back to the bench and want to look at that one again. He had enough time to really make a good shot. I don't think he quite got it where he wanted to. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Looks to make a play over to Malkin. The Penguins carry it along the wall. Oh, gets a glove on it to make the stop. The game happens so fast. Even though you've looked at the goaltender on video, you get this chance and you just release it. You have to hope your muscle memory is better than what just happened here for the shooter. St. Louis takes possession off the draw. Simple stop by Jari. And there's the wrap-up cue for period number two. The Penguins will take a 2-0 lead into the room after 40 minutes of play. The third period is just moments away, and both Ray and I will be ready to bring you all the action here on EA Sports. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro, ready to bring you the action. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? St. Louis will have to rethink the way that they've gone about this game so far. They've done nothing but chase the puck for two periods, and they're losing because of it. Kicked up ahead to his teammate who skates away. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. They fight for it along the boards. St. Louis has it near the wall. Some solid defensive work in the road end with the poke check. Centering pass! Can't connect! The Penguins have it in the offensive zone. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Krug. Here's a short pass to Bushnevich. Pittsburgh's looking to break out of their own end. And now it's grabbed by Crosby. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. St. Louis steps inside. And now he passes up to Malkin. Icing is called, stopping the play dead. Jari's blocker comes into good use there. Good positioning, and he's able to deflect it away. Nearing the midway mark of the period. 2-0 is the score. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Another big hit! Man, this guy has one color on his mind, and it's the other team's jersey. Skate, hit, skate, hit. It's been that all night. Rocks him! Quick feed to Malkin. Can't find his man. St. Louis has possession of it now. Excellent stick work on the play. Denies him on the slapper. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. won it off the faceoff. And now he tries to get it across to Rodriguez. Couldn't complete the pass. Smart defensive play there. Move to the middle. That's gloved by Bennington. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Penguins will go to work here in the offensive zone. Can't get it to go. His reflexes on display tonight. Here comes the pushback. Oh. 
Here we go. James, I was really good at this. Not the fight part. I mean the first part where someone else comes in and fights for you. <laughs> oh, and he caught him right there, and that'll pretty much do it. Yeah, that's not going to go to the judges. It's amazing how the energy in the building can seep away when your guy doesn't do so well in the fight. Yeah, you can hear a pin drop in this arena now. Both coaches seem to have settled down their benches and both teams are lining up here for the faceoff. The Penguins win it in the defensive zone. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Hammers one at the net. That goes off a twig. Up along the wing. The Penguins go to work on offense. And he makes the easy save. Biddington's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. More than half the frame has been played here. The Penguins are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. The Blues take possession off the faceoff. Kairou's got it in the offensive end. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Here he is in front, and they can't connect. Here he comes, in on the breakaway. Huge stop on the breakaway. Oh, you don't get many of these. He's right in on goal, but the goalie's better. Slides the puck across to Folk. Pittsburgh's gained possession. Tries to feed it over to Zucker. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. It hasn't been boring. I mean, it's low scoring, but man, there's been a lot of chances at both ends of the ice. We've seen missed chances combined with great goaltending, and that gives you a low scoring game. Picked up along the wall by Zucker. With the puck inside the defensive zone. Pittsburgh's got control of it now from their own end. Quick pass to Crosby. Skates to the crease. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Poked away in the defensive end. Pittsburgh's got possession of the puck. He says, let's get physical on that play. Nice zone entry from the middle. And now it's over to Bushnevich. The Blues really need a goal here. They pull the goalie and the extra attackers out. Who had the edge? Carlin's standing by with the answer. Crosby's been fun to watch as he's been able to generate more offense, guys. He's getting my vote in this one. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. And that pass can't connect. A shot at the empty net. And they get a little breathing room with the empty net goal. It didn't feel like on their bench, James, like they were very comfortable with that one goal lead. But now they've got the empty netter, and everybody can relax. That should be enough to wrap this thing up. The empty net goal should seal it. Getting into the later stages of this period, Pittsburgh's got a three-goal lead. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Looking for space inside the D zone. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Tarasenko. Broken up in the neutral zone by Dumoulin. Oh, a clutch save! Moves it to Tarasenko. From the neutral zone now. A chance! He scores! Jumps right on his own rebound and puts it in the back of the net. As it gets this deep in the game, it's hard to think about anything else except can he close the deal? Answer is he can't. 
He's beaten on a late goal. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. The Penguins win the draw here in the neutral zone. From in close. Oh, what a save in front. The Blues move the puck in the defensive zone. Dumps it in. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck now. Slides the pass over to Crosby. And that's picked up by Braun. And we are all over with this one tonight. Streaks over, even though in a close game, James, they played pretty well. You have to be careful, though, that these streaks turn the other way pretty quickly. You've lost one. Try and stop it here. Still got to be encouraged by the way they played, and they could easily get right back into the win column if they continue to play like this. Well, that'll do it from tonight's action here inside the arena. Hopefully, leprechauns, pots of gold, and shamrocks will find you well on this St. Patrick's Day night. Take care, everybody.